guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a little intro today because I've missed it in the last few vlogs that I've done, um, but I wanted to come on here and say hi, and I hope your week is going well. I'm sorry I couldn't get a Friday's video up. I really wanted to, but it has been so busy over here, you guys, and especially with the girls transitioning and like their beds, potty training, everything like that, it's all at one time. Uh, so Mia has been waking up through the night at like 3 a.m., coming into our room, and Ryan, and I are basically surviving off coffee. So I talked to you guys on Instagram. It looks like a lot of young ones go through this phase um, at this time. So luckily it's just Mia though. It's not Sophia. It's not at the same time. So um, it's just with one right now, but uh, yeah, it's obviously just been a little bit busy right now and obviously getting ready for the makeup line and new launches, but I hope you guys are doing well. Definitely let me know in the comments. I am so excited that it's been nice out finally and it's spring weather. We did go through a few days of snow and there's like a moose outside our door the other day and I showed you guys on Instagram. But other than that, today is beautiful and yesterday was beautiful and we've got to enjoy some sunshine. So vitamin D is really important, especially for your mood. And I'm just so happy that it's been really sunny and beautiful. So um, today's video, I thought I would do a spring closet tour and I wanted to do spring because I really feel like my closet is very springy a lot of the time. I have a lot of floral and also flowers and just the color range in my closet it just reminds me of spring. So I thought I could just share some inspiration with you guys, get you motivated cleaning your house and your closet. And yeah, I just hope you enjoy watching today's video. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe now for new videos. And I'm hoping, I tell you guys at the end of this vlog too, I'm really hoping to get back to two videos a week and shrink my vlogs into to about like 15 minute vlogs so I can see you guys throughout the week. So let me know your thoughts on that down below. Also, there's a giveaway in this video and it's a Louis Vuitton wallet. Do not miss out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great week and let's just roll right in. Yes, there you go. Mommy. You just say mommy helpy, that's all. Mama. Yeah, oh, okay, Mama. there you go. Mama, Loving this cute little table mommy got you. Mm -hmm. So cute, little bench. Hi, Max. Good morning. You're trying to, I know what you're trying to get, Max. <laughs> Some leftovers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am in my closet right now. I wanted to quickly start off the vlog with the giveaway, which I'm so excited about. And yes, it was a crazy Sunday morning. We had breakfast. Um, I shared the girls obviously eating their fruit, uh, but they also had like toast and um, yeah, and it's nice having that table now because it really just, they sit, I find a lot better than the booster chairs that we had in our dining room. Um, I find they would always want to get out of those. So these are kind of just like they have more freedom um, and they're really good. So I will link that table I bought. It's a four seater uh, with a bench down below, but I got it off Wayfair. And I also wanted to share, I know this is going to be like a spring closet tour, but I wanted to also show you all the stuff we got from Wayfair. And there's a few things I don't like that didn't look like the photos, um, but we moved them around the house and uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd share everything that's come in. Not everything is up now, Ryan um, and I haven't had time. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna share the giveaway portion really quickly with you guys. But this beautiful wallet right here, um, I'm gonna be giving away. So I thought I would combine like YouTube and Instagram so you can enter on both or you can enter on either one. Um, but yeah, you can win this wallet. It's an early Mother's Day giveaway that I wanted to do, something very special. Um, this is valued at, I think, like $890 Canadian. Uh, but it's one of my favorite wallets of all time. I think it's so beautiful. It's brand new. Um, I don't want to touch it because I told myself, I'm like, I just want it to go back in the packaging, take some photos of it, and just be very careful with it, um, especially when the girls are up here too. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And I do have some pictures on the inside as well. If you want to see that, that's on my Instagram. Instagram. Um, but all you guys have to do is leave a comment down below what your favorite thing is to do during the springtime. Um, and yeah, that's basically all I have to do or you have to do to enter and also make sure you're following my channel. Um, you're subscribed and also following me on Instagram as well. Um, and yeah, and if you want an extra entry, you can just repost it or share it onto your Insta stories. Um, and that is all. I make them very easy. You don't have to do anything else really. On Instagram, you just have to tag a few friends, but that's it. Uh, and I will be selecting the winner uh, probably, I'd say in the next few weeks, like before Mother's Day. 
Um, so I'll have all the info down below since I, I'm still deciding on the date, uh, but it will be down below in the description. But yeah, such a gorgeous color. It's the Rose Ballerine design, which I love. This is the prettiest pink ever, and it's just such a beautiful spring wallet, I think. Um, so yeah, it's one of my favorite pieces that has ever come out with Louis Vuitton. And I know I told you guys last week on my Instagram that I did a big haul at Old Navy. They were actually having 50% off. I've never bought anything for the girls from Old Navy, but I love, 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 love their pieces. And I definitely am going to be shopping there a lot more frequently. Um, I usually shop at like H&M for them or Zara or something, uh, Children's Place. But I really love their spring outfits. So I found these pink overalls, which I thought were so cute. Or it's like a little overall dress. Um... And then also these are my favorite. These are so springy. I think I'm gonna have them in these for Easter. I just think they're super spring and beautiful. And the girls really like yellow actually. They love pink. I think that's their favorite color, just like their mama. Um, and they fight over pink all the time. Uh, but I can tell they do really like yellow too. So that'll be nice. I think they like spring colors. And then this one right here, tie dye. So this is so cute. Um, a maxi little mat or not maxi. What am I thinking of right now? Yeah, maxi. Yeah. Wait, no, not maxi. I'm thinking a jumper. Uh, maxi dress is like a long one without the legs, but yeah. Anyways, these are really, really cute though. I love the tie dye theme. Uh, I think it's really come back in. And yeah, so those are all the pieces I got them. And then there's, I think, a bathing suit with strawberries that I got. I washed everything yesterday. And then I think I got two more pink outfits that had white, or there's a pink top and white pants. Uh, but I will show you guys all that after. And I love this little wardrobe setup. I know I've taken a lot of photos and videos of them playing. And also it's next to their vanity. Um, but honestly, they love this thing and they like they grab their purse their shoes in the morning and then put on like a little outfit so i feel like it's just a really nice oh it also has these on the side here so you can hang clothes or whatever you want on the side there but um yeah there's just like a lot of options with this and i just think it gets them ready to have like their own closet um and the bags are so cute too so these ones i got from alibaba and then my friend nina got the girls these ones from vancouver um and they're just really really cute little purses also random but i got these little mini hats from h m the girls love them and then also these little bags elsa bags so this was like a haul i got from i think last weekend and then these little easter bunnies um i'm gonna go to michael's today and get like a bunch of eggs and things that i can throw into their easter baskets but i got these ones um but i've noticed they really like their old ones like they've been playing with these ones a lot which i think these are from michael's um, but yeah, they really like these. And the other thing I got, I found at Winners when I went with, uh, I took Mia and then Ryan took Sophia out. Um, we found frozen sunglasses and then also these little frozen puzzle books, which they've really enjoyed these. Um, so yeah, they're quite fun if your kids like frozen. Uh, but yeah, this is just a playroom outside of the one that they use downstairs. So this is kind of a fun room for like dress up and whatnot. But, and yeah, by the way, I'm still in my... PJs today and I look crazy, but that's okay. I still have to get ready. Um, yeah <laughs> And I'm in my bonus family area right now. So you guys have seen this couch. It's really really bright in this room um, But I wanted to quickly show you guys what I got for the wall right here, which I'm super excited on how they turned out so these are photos from our wedding and I did all black and white now these frames came in a set of 12 off Wayfair I'll link it down below it keeps selling out actually so I had to look back like I think it twice um, but these are actually all the black and whites that Nomo sent me that were already made so I basically just had to choose which ones but I chose like a lot of the fun photos though of like dancing I love this one of Ryan and I right there and then there's me and my mom dancing our first dance right there, one with my bridesmaids, maid of honor, and then this one. This is actually my favorite. Okay, hold on. I love this one. So it's just like a laughing, candid shot. I love that. That's when we were thanking everyone and giving our speech. Um, this is when I threw the bouquet right here. My friend Tiffany got it, and it was so funny. Um, but yeah, no, it was just a really fun moment. Um, I love this one of Ryan. That's a really nice one of Ryan. And then um, me and Ryan dancing right here. So yeah, I wanted to quickly show you guys these, but just, um, yeah, imagine them up there with 12. So I think there's three rows and it'll look really, or sorry, four rows, um, but it'll look really nice. I really like how they turned out. And you can obviously do um, two ways. You can do the smaller photo without the white border or you can do without the white border, but I really like it with the white border. 
I think it just makes it look a little bit nicer and I'm just so excited to get these up. I wanted to quickly show you, I know it's not a part of like um, the spring tour, but obviously I just, there's so many things throughout the week that I just forget to show and I know that you guys would probably wanna see these. And this picture came in, so this is the chandelier photo I got off Wayfair, like right above our mini fridge. Uh, I really love how it turned out. So we have to hang it still, uh, but I wanted to quickly show you what it looks like. And this artist actually has a ton of like different sorts of prints like Dior, Chanel, and um, I just thought this was gorgeous. I thought it really went in our master well. Um, it has like big uh, bling on there, just like our actual chandelier. So I just thought it, this would be nice. It was a tad expensive, I think, but I think anything for this size is going to be expensive. Even if I go to Home Sense, it's a few hundred dollars. So um, I just wanted to get something nice for this little corner and Ryan really likes it too. Um, and then obviously I still have to get some candles for these that you guys saw last week. Uh, and then also something for the vase. And then I think I might move this, I'm not sure, but I might put it on our dresser that we have. But these are some of my favorite photos, so cute. And then this right here, this pink citron candle, I wanna get a larger one because it smells really, really good. It's very springy too. And I know I showed you guys doing my skincare last week. It looks like a lot of you liked seeing that and we're talking about your skincare too. I still have to organize this because it's so busy. There's so much. There's also empty bottles that I have to throw out um, and obviously just trying new products. But I also got this. It's the Laura, Mer or Laura Mercier Refining Exfoliant. So I think I use this once or twice a week. I'm really excited to try it out. Um, great for oily skin and then also this mask from Kiehl's that I heard is really good So I'm gonna try this out as well. It's a hydrating mask uh, And then I also last week. I obviously got some sunscreen some Clarins total eye lift and Some other products. So I'm just still trying everything out Laura Mercier purifying water I'm using this but I feel like I go through it really quickly. So I don't know. I do need to get a different cleanser um, Yeah this one I really did like um, and I'm out of it. So I might try this one again or see like if there's another cleanser. If there's a cleanser you wanna recommend, leave me down in the comments down below what you guys use. Obviously, you know I'm big on Jo Malone. So we're almost out of this, which was the English pear. And then I got two of the lime, which I haven't tried, lime and basil. So we have the hand soap, hand cream, and then I obviously have like the little one and then my rose spray. Um, but yeah, just like my little area in the bathroom that I love here But yeah, these are the best especially if you guys have guests over I get so many compliments on like how amazing the hand soap smells All right, so I'm gonna start off here you guys you already know if you've seen uh, my house and you know You've been watching my channel that you enter the closet from the master bathroom and then also from the laundry room So we'll go in from this way And I just finished cleaning it <laughs> just for the sake of this video. It usually is quite clean, but um, there's some stuff that get, you know, shoes are on the floor and me and Sophia love coming in here. I think this is like their favorite spot in the house. Uh, that's why I knew getting them their like own wardrobe, they would really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. I thought I wanted to do this like near spring because I feel like the closet is very spring and I have a lot of spring florals and colors and um, accent pieces that just go along with spring uh, really nicely. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do closet videos and if there are any videos you recommend, definitely let me know in the comments, but I'm gonna start off in this section right here. And of course you'll notice I love to be very detailed, so I just always am in my videos. I don't like to leave stuff out or miss things, um, but we also have this pink rug. I just got it from HomeSense when we first moved here. The Ottoman, one of my favorite pieces actually in my closet, it's from Wayfair and it was really, really inexpensive expensive and it's just little I think it's great for like adding in like a little piece of decor also really good if you're like putting on shoes or if you're me and Sophia climbing to get the bags <laughs> um, but yeah also the mirror this is also from Wayfair so gorgeous I've always been a fan of like anything Victorian and um, our builder actually helped us hang this when we first moved in with Ryan so that was really nice because I definitely wanted to have it up and you know do little outfit videos in here which I honestly haven't done a lot of but I think now that we're in springtime my wardrobe's changing so I'll definitely do more like wardrobe try on videos for you um, so yeah I'm really in love with the mirror I think it's beautiful and you'll notice like not everything is filled to the brim in my closet uh, I just haven't obviously bought in a crazy amount of things uh, for the closet since we've moved but um, you know it'll take some time to fill this closet because it's so big but it's not like my main goal I don't need to like fill it and just buy things that I you know um, 
I'm just not 100% sure on. So I think once I find like a larger piece or a larger bag or just something I really, really like, then I'll start to fill the upper areas in there that I can display. But for now, um, yeah, I'll show you guys this section here. So we have my Neverfull, which this is the limited edition pink one that I bought like years and years ago, which I really, really still do love and I use all the time. Um, so yeah, this is gorgeous. I do see it on like pre-loved sites. Uh, and then I have my bag insert on the inside here. Uh, which is from Amazon, which are great if you guys have big, large bags like this. I think it's, oh, I also have a little pink one too. So you can buy like little ones for your purse so you don't get the inside dirty or you can get like the larger ones too, but these are fantastic. And then of course it just keeps the inside of your bag clean if you're planning on like reselling or anything. Um, so for shoes, you guys already know I'm a more of a handbag girl and lover. Uh, I do love shoes as well, but I only have one pair here of like high-end Lubus and these are the pink ones. These are actually Mia's favorite. Every time she's in my closet she goes for these so um, I mean I just think they're beautiful and I honestly think they're great for decor. I had them in my office but I brought them back up here um, just to you know show you guys I guess all of them together and then these are all from House of CB so they also have some really great like I would say knockoff uh, Lubus. So these look very similar, obviously, but they are from House of CB. Uh, so I'll leave a link down below on some of my favorite shoes and dresses from their site. But there was a point when I was really obsessed because I love their full packaging. It comes in a really fancy box and uh, I just have always had a really good experience from shopping from them and it comes within a few days. So these, uh, these ones too are from House of CB, which are so pretty. I love this color, this like nude color, it's so pretty. Um, we also have Grey, also House of CB, and then these last ones are just from Aldo. So yeah, you can probably fit one more pair on here, but that's almost a full row. And then getting to the bottom ones right here, you can see just like super crazy, sparkly, bedazzled shoes. So these both are the same shoe. These ones are just higher. Uh, I went through my obsession with, uh, was it Jeffrey Campbell? So I wore these on my, I think my 28th or was it 27th? 28th, I think, birthday in Vancouver. So I bought these and they're so comfortable. They don't look like they'd be comfortable, but trust me, they're like cushiony and really easy to wear all night long. So these are fantastic. Also the the larger one I bought here and higher heel, which I don't know why I did because they're obviously way higher, um, but I just think they're really pretty to look at and I think they're gorgeous for like closet details and stuff but these right here are actually my wedding shoes now I didn't wear them on my wedding day they were for the photos uh, so Nomo took photos of these shoes with like a bunch of like the little um, you know accessories that I had for my wedding day and things like that so I just thought these would be so perfect for photos and I think they were around like a hundred dollars which was awesome from Aldo so yeah those are them there and then this last pair I don't even know where I got these. So these are really old and they're rose gold and I just thought I'd put them down here because I have nowhere else to put them. Um, but I have obviously a lot of room. I still have, yeah, lots of shoe room. But like I said, I'm not a huge shoe lover so it might take me time to fill this area. Now for handbags, I have uh, the classic Chanel right here and I have two colors. So we have the beige with silver hardware and then also my black and gold. Now it's so funny because, and I got this more recently, I got it from uh, this recent, most recent Christmas, a gift to myself. Uh, I've always wanted the black, like the classic black Chanel, but it's funny because you guys obviously know I'm not much of a, like I don't wear a lot of black at all, but I just think it's so nice to have if you do wear light colors and it's just like a pop and like, it's so bold and it's just a classic bag that I've always wanted. So um, I just, yeah, I think black is coming back in for me because for years and years I didn't didn't wear black. I was into pink and nudes and um, I think I, I just love having that classic handbag. So that's what it looks like right there. And like I said, it has the gold hardware, which is super pretty. Um, yeah, nice, super large bag. And then over here we have, this is an older bag. I have the YSL portfolio I think that's what it's called and then this one here I've had for quite a while and it's a really nice bag it fits my laptop too like it's quite a large bag and it's the Louis Vuitton one I can't remember the name of it I'm really bad with bag names you guys so I do apologize in advance I'll try to link down like some pre-loved ones that I like Alma Rose Ballerine up there so that is the same um, what's it called? Color and style as the wallet that I'm doing for this giveaway. So really, really nice. I got this for my last birthday 
so my 29th birthday and it's the perfect like fall bag and it's a backpack or you can hold it with the top handle um, but I liked the front buckle like the the LV there, it's so pretty. And then we have right here the classic Chanel with the silver hardware and this is the beige. So this is also one of my favorite classic bags that I love. Uh, so, so pretty. And I remember when I was gonna get the jumbo and I remember a few friends were saying don't because it's so big. I'm so happy I didn't because the jumbo is so big. Uh, it would just look silly on me because I'm so tiny. I'm only like 5'2", so even these bags look big on me, uh, but yeah. So yeah, that is that whole area right there, and then for the Chanel, those are the large sizes. So once I get to the other side of the closet, I'll show you guys the comparison with like the medium and small. I think I really like the medium. I think the medium is a per perfect size for me. The small is a little too small, and then these are just classic bags to have, but if you like had to choose, I really do like the medium. And then right over here, we have some flowers. So I got these from Michaels, and it's just really pretty flowers with this gold vase that I got. I think this is from HomeSense. So the flowers though are from Michaels. And then right here we have, this is my Take Me Away box, my newer makeup brushes that launched with the Boss Babe, and then my makeup case, which make for really, really nice decor. And then I obviously love the knobs in the closet. I think they're so gorgeous, really easy to open the drawers, uh, and they stand out. So I really like those too. And then in here we have just my you know my wallets and smaller goods um in here so starting over here we have all the iridescent collection pieces clearly i had an obsession that's why i bought so many pieces it was crazy when it first came out um so this is actually a wallet on chain and then we have this which it's like a flap wallet like that and right here we have a smaller this is all or no this isn't a chain this is just a small wallet and then over here, this is actually the wallet I'm giving away. Um, so I have my own. This is one of my favorite wallets. So the one I'm giving away is a brand new one. I just thought out of all the pieces that I've seen, this would be a really nice spring piece, which is why I wanted to do it for Mother's Day. And I just love it so much. And then right here we have a smaller petite little wallet can't remember the name of it and then the twist the twist is one of my favorites and you guys already know if you've been following me i engraved the girl's name in here when we went to um went on our trip so if you guys can see it there there we go so it's focusing but yeah if you guys shop at louis vuitton you can do a lot of custom engraving and stuff like that which i really like um i mean yeah, I won't be selling this and I would do only select pieces that I knew that I wanted to keep. Don't do it on something that you obviously think you might be selling in the near future. But yeah, um, really nice. I love anything customized, obviously, that I can put the girl's names on. And then right here we have a Prada wallet. And then right here we have a little coin pouch that I think was one of the first items I ever bought of high end from Louis Vuitton. Um, in the second drawer here, we just have, yeah, obviously not that full. Um, we have another Louis Vuitton bag that I bought or that Ryan got me actually a few years ago for Christmas and it has a chain. It's a wallet on chain. We have a little Chanel makeup bag here. We have this. This is actually like the phone uh, case. So it's really neat. It has like a wallet on chain there too, but you can put your phone in here and uh, your money and your cards and stuff like that. So that was from the iridescent collection. And then right here, this came from one of my wallet on chain bags from Louis Vuitton camera is not wanting to focus today you guys I apologize um, I do keep all my boxes just in case I do plan on selling something so I really highly recommend you guys keeping it and then we have like a little makeup case this was my first ever wallet you guys oh I love it so much this was the multi-colored um, and you can see here I put my initials my old initials SL uh, but yeah, a wallet that I'd keep forever because this is like I remember how long it took me to save to buy this wallet Like it took me a long time uh, And it was the first item I ever bought high-end so really special and then we also have the bag here It's got the pink in the inside the multicolor and then this is a cute little Prada bag I bought that has like a heart on the front and it has a strap. It's tiny, like a little mini bag, but mini bags really were popular I think last year and then right here the ear or er, um uh, double-sided I can't think of the word right now um, but you can use either side of the belt but I mean I, I hardly ever wear belts um, but I'm hoping to wear belts soon again obviously after the mama weight and just yeah fluctuation I put on some jeans yesterday and they hardly fit so I was like oh okay I need to start going back on the treadmill um, but right here we have yeah just a nice classic rose ballerine colored um, belt and then also you can do the classic LV2 uh, and then right over here just some boxes so oops make sure that goes there we go 
and I'm not sure what's in this bottom drawer. Okay, so we have scarves. I'm a big scarf fan. I really do like wearing them during the winter, and especially since it's a lot colder out here, it's nice to have. So we have some fake fur scarves. Probably got it at like Aldo or something years ago, and then pink scarves. Um, yeah, some Aldo ones. So keep them down there. And now moving on to clothes over here. Now hangers are really important to me. I think they aesthetically look so nice when you have really nice like looking hangers. So white ones are from Amazon. I'll link them down below. The pearl ones I actually think I got from HomeSense in a set. So I know they're kind of hard to find and if I do see them, I always buy them, but I just think they look so stunning. Look at that. Like the pearls just make such a big difference and they remind me of like Chanel. So really like those. Now I'm not gonna go through like every piece of clothing, but you guys can already tell the colors that I wear. Um, so I do have some pieces here. This was a newer blazer I just bought, uh, which I really like. I think it's super nice from Evernew. Uh, so I got that. I have a dress from House of CB. I have some sweaters from H&M, like big cozy sweaters in the winter time, you guys. I'm all about. I have some fur vests. This is actually a really cute little jacket. I think I got it at the Bay a few years ago, or maybe longer than that, but um, oh, I have a Louis Vuitton scarf right here, which I've had for years. Really pretty. Uh, and then, yeah, just some big, big sweaters that I usually have been living through during the winter months. And then down here we have all of like my white. I tried to like do it by colors. So we have white clothes and then pink clothes and beige. Um, so we have some dresses, some pink outfits, gray. And then these are like newer items that I just bought from Po or Princess Polly. I just thought it'd be really cute to try some new brands this spring and then also this skirt. Look how cute this is. I love flowy skirts like this and then it's got a little tie up um, and then I also got this jumper. This is really cute too. I've actually tried this on. I think I wore this in one of my photos on Instagram recently and yeah I really like the fit. Uh, this is from Dynamite. I wore this for New Year's. Obviously, we stayed home, but still, I really love that top. And then just to show you guys from afar, like, what it looks like, I really like all the matchy colors. I think if I had, like, orange and purple and green out or something like that, it would just throw off the section. So I really do like matching colors um, in my closet. I think it just overall looks really, really put together and nice and everything kind of blends seamlessly so yeah that's what I have there and then like I said the pearl hangers home sense winners you could probably find them there uh, nothing in the top and then this little section here um, I've had a difficult time filling it and if you're wondering what those are I just bought those mannequin heads for my wigs I wanted to actually do uh, once I get the other I bought newer heads because I don't know if I like these ones um, as much as just spending the extra dollar and getting nicer ones. So waiting for the newer ones. Once they arrive, I think I'll do a, like a, a wig collection video for you guys so I can show you all the different wigs I have. Um, over here, we have Venus F. Floor. And I've had this for quite some time now. I just think it fills in the space really nicely up here. And these are the like pink flowers. They last like over a year, smell really nice. And then in this section here, I just have like little accessories. So I think the top is bathing suits. Yeah, I mean, uh, I definitely have to go bathing suit shopping again, but these are ones that I've had over the years. I really like Elsa and Rose. They have really beautiful bathing suits that are lace, um, lots of pink. And then in the bottom drawer here, I have some hair accessories, headbands and stuff for winter time. You guys know I love wearing headbands with my wigs and it's just sometimes easier. Um, and then I actually got these the other day from Aritzia. Aritzia has the nicest hats if you like wearing hats in the summertime. Um, so I really like these and they also have like pink. There's like an army one, army color one. Um, yeah, so these are like all my hats and then I have all my beanies and you guys know during the winter months I love using the uh, Wolf Fan Collective. I have every color, <laughs> every palm that they've made. I have, I have so many. There's my pink one down here. That one, which I love. And then I have some leg warmers back there too. So in the bottom, I have some clothes here that's kind of jammed in here, but I kind of have to do, I might do a video. Let me know if you want to see a spring clean out because I do have to get rid of some of my clothes and donate them because 
Um, there's just a lot of stuff I haven't been wearing recently and I feel like spring's the best time to do that. So I'll go through those later. And then this section here is just so miscellaneous. I like have a hard time decorating it because I don't have enough like shoes or bags to fill this area. If there's something like you can think of, let me know. I know I've asked this so many times, but I just feel like it's incomplete. <laughs> so we have some boxes down there. We have one of my favorite handbags from Louis Vuitton. Right here, I got sent these Mia and Sophia bottles. They're so cute. And then up here, my little perfume collection. I've really downsized, I think, over the years. I also have my Kabuki brush. And I have Tom Ford. I have Armani. Some little Tom Ford samples and stuff. Uh, Tiffany & Co., this is um, Flower Bomb, and then also YSL in the back here. And uh, some Flower Bomb back here too. So the other ones I have are Jill Malone. I have one in my office. I have one that I just bought. One in my master bedroom or bathroom. Um, but yeah, I really, really like Jill Malone. Whew, I feel like I've been talking for so long. Whew, okay. <laughs> um, also this tissue box, this is sent from Nicole. Glam Luxe shop. You guys have to check out her shop. She has the cutest trays, which I will get to and show you guys once we get to this section here. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get through this portion of the video because I need to be longer. Right here, we have a photo frame with a really cute picture in there. Uh, flower box, picture of the fam. This is one of my favorites from the springtime, if you guys remember from Ontario when we had our first house. Look how cute. They were so small. And of course, the Victorian print frame, my favorite. And then, of course, in the top there, we have nothing and some mannequin heads. I had to bring them up here because they were in the kitchen for a while and Ryan's like, what is that? But um, yeah, so I definitely, I'm excited to get like all my wigs on the mannequin heads and I just think it will look so pretty. So I did have someone actually recommend that and to do that. So I'm really excited and that was a great idea. So yeah, and I'm sorry if my hands are a little shaky. I've had a little bit of coffee this morning because um, we had one of my friends here yesterday and we obviously have had a really small circle The girls only see like a few people but uncle Cooper He sent me the funniest text I'll probably put it on the screen here if I have it But it was just saying how exhausted he was and he had to sleep for like nine hours and he was so dead last night I'm like that's me every day <laughs> I'm Like we do that on repeat every day But it's so funny if like people don't have kids and they like, you know, hang out with me and Sophia and they're just like exhausted there is honestly nothing more tiring than kids at home and, you know, just having to entertain them all day. It's so busy. Um, but on top of that, I work. So I think that's been the hardest thing for me is like a balance of both. And he's like, oh, I don't know how you work too. Like, how do you do that? How do you do that? And um, especially because I go in between. So I'll like have breakfast with them and then I'll work and then I'll have lunch with them and then I'll work and then I go back and play with them and then we take them outside on a long walk and then this and that and it's you know it gets exhausting but I know any stay home mom or dad knows what I'm talking about um but yeah obviously it's not perfected yet and once they get on like a super routine again because Oh, I know I talked about this actually on my Instagram. They've been waking, or Mia's been waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning and running into our room the last like four nights. So lack of sleep has been real. But obviously in between just filming YouTube videos and making fun content, I've just been like trying to still maintain my own routine. Um, but I hope, yeah, obviously she'll get back to her, her routine, but it's just a little phase right now. All right, though, I'm gonna go on this side here because I could chat with you guys all day. You already know that. I'll save it though for like a get ready with me so I can just chat off your ears. Some of you guys like it, some of you guys don't. So I mean, make some people happy and then, um, you know, the others can just watch my tour videos because I know some people just really like tour videos. Uh, but over here we have a lot of my spring summer dresses. I wore this one um, for my brother's wedding, which was beautiful. So these are from Nordstrom and I'll leave the brand down below, but really gorgeous dresses. So I bought it in pink and then I have this one that I wore for my friend Brian's wedding. So this is kind of like a nudie pink like a really nice light pink. I love the lace though. And then this is the dress I was just wearing in that spring shoot we did. So that's from Dynamite. And then we have a romper and then some other dresses that I have. This is from Revolve. I bought this for one of my birthdays and it was so expensive, but I wouldn't wear it again. Like it's just, it's got a weird fit to it, but yeah, really pretty though. Um, and then up here we have some really cute rompers. This is from Dynamite a few years ago. I love the green. I think that's really floral and just gorgeous for springtime. This is really old. I've had this for years. A lot of these are actually that I wouldn't wear again, but I think they look really nice in my closet, to be honest, with the florals. This is cute. I would definitely wear this. Um, 
obviously the body changes when you have kids, but I just, I don't know, I don't wear things this short anymore, and I tend to wear like mom jeans now, so yeah, my wardrobe has completely changed, but I definitely could give this to some of my friends that are like near my size and obviously donate some pieces, but I love this romper. This is one of my favorites. It's such a gorgeous blue. And then this dress here is another floral. So yeah, that's why I said like spring tour because I have a lot of like spring clothes. And then on this side here, it's like right when you walk into our closet, this is, or my closet, this is what you see on this side here. And Ryan has his own closet. I know I get asked this all the time, where's Ryan's clothes? Um, they're not in here, so he has his own closet. Uh, and yeah, I have a little photo right here of us. This is one of my favorites actually from our wedding day. And a little candle. And then we also have this really fun top. This is from House of CB. Uh, and then just a lot of lace rompers um, and yeah like just a lot of lace dresses I love this it's just like a little shawl that I can wear with some jeans during the spring another lace I think I wore this on my or this one I think this was my bridal shower dress that I wore and then might as well just show you guys this now before I forget but um, this is Ryan's closet obviously not full I don't know uh, what guy would have like a full closet of this size. And this is basically half his wardrobe is just stuff I've bought in that he sometimes wears. Um, so he's got like a lot of t-shirts. He's a very plain guy. So lots of v-necks and just like same colors and stuff like that. Um, and then yeah, he's got like a few pairs of shoes up here. We have some paintings here that we are gonna put down in the basement and then a shoe rack that isn't used. And back to over here, um, back to my closet. <laughs> uh, but I just know I'll have someone ask, like, where's Ryan's stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, he has this whole whole area, and then he also has drawers, so the rest of his, like, underwear, socks, so forth, which I won't show, that's personal, um, but are in drawers. So anyways, yeah, I don't know why it's always been such a big thing, but I remember the last tour video I did, it was like, that was the biggest comment I was getting in the comment section. It was just like, where's Ryan's clothes? <laughs> Like, why do you care? Why do you care? But anyways, he's in the garage a lot, you guys. He's working on his cars right now. He just had like his engine arrive for his Chevelle and that's the fun and exciting stuff. He's not so much into clothes or shoes like I am. And if he is getting clothes, it's cause I'm buying it for him um, and finding stuff for him. He's not, he doesn't like going shopping. So yeah, I'm usually like, oh, I hope he likes this. I hope he likes this, but 50% of the time he does though, which is good. Um, and then right here, so this is the dress I wore for the girl's second birthday. Look at how pretty this is. I really love it. Um, the sh or the sleeves kind of hurt. They were a bit tight, but really floral and pretty. I also bought this one. So this is the one that was just like the little top version of it, which I thought would be really cute with jeans. And look at that floral. It's just so pretty. I really love yellow and pink together. I just think that's the like super spring color I can hear the girls downstairs um but yeah super floral and perfect for springtime and we just have some other random dresses that I won't really explain where they're from because I have no idea I can't remember I've had these clothes for like years and then this right here is obviously Fashion Nova I can see the tag right there but yeah this is also a really cute little romper and then yeah just some more dresses this I think I got from Nordstrom Rack which is really cute with jeans. And then some blouses, cause I really like blouses. Um, this is really pretty actually. I wore this for my baby baby shower. So it's from Evernew. It has like floral all over it. I love floral. Can you tell like half my closet is floral? And then dynamite floral. Yeah. I love spring clothes. I think spring is my favorite for wardrobe. Okay, I'm actually sitting on my island right now. I thought this would be the easiest way to show you guys the bags cause they're so high. Up here, I don't have anything. You can see there, I still have a lot of space. Um, right here, we have just like one or two bags in each of the sections. So we have my Gucci up there. And you guys have seen all these bags before. It's not like I've gotten any new ones. And if I do, I share them. Um, so that little bag, which is also a crossbody from Louis Vuitton. We have the Chanel Boy. I love that color. It's a really unique color, beige. and. Um, also a very unique bag and I remember when we were building that's the bag I brought with me and then we have the LV twist so I have the matching wallet uh, which I really like and then that one um, this is one of the first bags I think I got from Gucci uh, years ago when I first came to Calgary I was actually pregnant when I found out I was pregnant so that's a bag I'll keep just for keepsake of just like 
memories and when I was pregnant, how I found out I was pregnant. And then over here we have some of my favorite bags. So the small iridescent right there, you can see it actually has like a really nice shimmer to it. So a lot of people ask for like a comparison. Um, I think it's one of the prettiest colors in person, like photographs, video, you cannot, like it does not do it justice. It is so pretty in person, you guys, and it's the perfect spring color. So I'll try to link some iridescent pieces I find that are pre-loved. And then this is one that I bought here um, from, from a friend of mine on Instagram, actually, that has a ton of like pink handbags. So uh, it's a gorgeous collectible piece that I just love. I think it's like 2014 or something like that, but it's got the gold hardware and it's such a gorgeous spring bag. All right, getting to the bottom, I apologize if you guys can hear the girls, um, but yeah, I have to get back to them soon. So I wanna finish up this part, but we have all my little bags, like wallet on chains. The first one's a camera bag from Louis Vuitton, the Rose Ballerine. We have the iridescent wallet on chain, which I find myself using quite a bit if I'm like running out to get an er or like errands, like groceries or something, and I just need like a little bit of things and I'm not bringing the girls with me, then I'll bring that. We also have this one, Rose Ballerine. LV and then also a little baby Dior bag. Now at the bottom here are just shoes. So I am a big wedge person. Like I love wedges so much during the summertime. Might as well hop down here to show you guys. But most of these are from like Nordstrom Rack or they're Steve Madden. I really like Steve Madden. So these ones are Steve Madden. These ones down here are mostly Nordstrom Rack. I have one high end. These are the um, LV shoes that I got sandals. Uh, I've worn them like a few times and I bought them when we went to California together. It was our first mommy daddy trip away from the girls. And then also these right here are Kate Spade. And then these are super cute. Sophia Webster. Those are cute. And then some Gucci, which have gotten really dirty because I've worn them like to the beach and stuff. So I've had those, I think, for a few years. But yeah, I honestly, if you're thinking about getting high-end shoes, sandals are always the harder thing because they can get damaged very easily um, and they're harder to take care of. So yeah, anyways, and then I have shoes and these are always everywhere because me and Sophia always grab for these shoes when they come in here and try them on. It's actually hilarious. And I'll try to get them doing it next time. I just obviously needed a clear mind to film this right now. Um, but yeah, lots of just cute wedges. And I'm trying to get, so you guys can see it in the sun right here, like how it sparkles. This is the iridescent. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. Oof. I still think it's one of my favorite collections, even with, there's a newer line that just came out spring and summer and it had pink pieces in it. And even, I think I still like this more than the newer pink, which is actually a cooler pink. Um, but there's something about this collection that's so unique and pretty, you guys. And then also, I just love the spring pink. I think it's so pretty. And this is kind of like a cooler pink. You can see the difference. And just to show you the hardware on this bag, it's got like a big chain, which I really like, gold chain. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to see like a really in-depth handbag collection, let me know. Like maybe I can rate my bags from like least to favorite or something. Let me know if you want to see that. I know I've watched a few videos like that. Um, but yeah, those are all my handbags. Now getting to the island here. Now there's so many cabinets and drawers and stuff, which is great because um, there's a lot of stuff I wanna hide too, like boxes. Um, so I have a lot of like Chanel and Louis Vuitton boxes down here uh, that obviously, I, like I said, in case you plan on selling something or you know um, having it on a pre-loved site, then I really recommend you keep the box and everything. Um, so yeah, that's... That's what I have in there. And then also this is like my jewelry area. These are Glam Lux Shop. If you haven't seen them, she has the prettiest trays. I also love this jewelry one she has. This is the bigger clear acrylic Louis Vuitton. This little case too is actually from her too. I haven't put anything in here yet, but I just think it makes for really gorgeous decor in here. I have a candle, some other candles. Um, I try to keep it quite plain on the island. I don't wanna have it like too jammed with things. I don't have anything in that area. Uh, we have my Louis Vuitton hoops. These are my favorite earrings to wear. So I have the silver and gold. I Just because I wore the gold so much, that's why I bought the silver. Because I'm like, you know what? It'll go with different outfits. And I wear these like every day when I go out. So I really do love them. We have a little Olive and Piper bracelet. This was for my brother and his wife, Brie. So it says M&S. And right here we have a little like Pandora teardrop ring and some earrings. So I did want to show you guys this drawer too. This is like my jewelry drawer. We have my jewelry case right here so i'll link it down below i love it it has precious jewelry in here which i'll show you guys quickly so we have everything in here 
show you guys some earrings. It also has like a secret pouch there. You can put like some precious jewels in there too. Uh, and then in here we have all of my other jewelry. So uh, we have some Pandora. This is the headpiece I wore for my wedding, my wedding bracelet, a little watch, earrings, Olive and Piper, a pearl necklace. Ryan is a little bebe. <laughs> His mom gave that to me. That's really cute though. And then some other floral earrings. Ooh, big heart earrings that I love. I think they're busted though, um, but really cute. And then these little inserts are fantastic. Like I haven't even filled them all up, but this is like the large one. And then I have one down below. So I mean, I can fit a lot of jewelry. I just don't have that much jewelry. And um, yeah, I just think they fit in here quite nicely, and especially if you're a big jewelry fan. It's easy to just pull these out, see what you want to wear in the morning, and it makes it a little bit more fun to have it this organized and makes choosing out your pieces in the morning fun. So wanted to quickly show you guys that. And then below that, like I said, I haven't set up my wig area yet, but this is all my wigs. I have a ton in here that I just want to get set up and then I'll do a video. Now below that I have some more tops that just didn't obviously go with my whole closet theme. And then these are some makeup organizers that I don't know why they're in here, but um, I'll find room for them or space for them at some point. <laughs> now this section here is probably one of my favorite areas. I have the uh, this little floral uh, that I just got from HomeSense. I love the color. That's like the prettiest light spring pink. And both of these are just little jewelry containers that I have from Louis Vuitton. I think it's called the LV Scott box. This is a larger one that I got for my birthday. Haven't filled it with anything. I just think it looks nice on its own though, to be honest. And then in here I have the little Scott box as well. And then there's just some like little jewelry in there. I have like a little Louis Vuitton bracelet, um, some Chanel earrings and just other pieces. Um, yeah, but really, really, really pretty. And I just think it makes for such nice display. And then also a Louis Vuitton book as well. Okay, so this drawer right here, I have some watches and then I also have some sunglasses. I don't have a lot of sunglasses, so that's why they're in here. And then these are acrylic organizers too for jewelry that I bought. So I think once I, you know, have a little jewelry haul, then I can definitely use these as well, which are really nice from HomeSense. Um, and then this little organizer is from Ikea. And then of course there's gotta be a little, little drawer that looks like this of just thrown in stuff. Uh, yes, I have one of those drawers, so I definitely have to go through this. I just have some of my makeup brush sets and jewelry organizers. This is a little antique box my mom got me. Um, and just some other boxes. So once this is organized, I will share with you guys what I end up putting in here. Um, oh, and I have a little insert too for a bag that, that I got. And then on this side here, this is actually just all of like my tank tops, my jeans, and I'm not gonna go through everything, but I'll just show you guys like what I do. So I have jeans all in here. Um, I don't know what's in here, skirts. And then this one is just sweatpants and big sweaters, same on this side here, just big sweaters. And then this is the, and I still have some bags over here um, that I have to find room for. Uh, but over here, same thing as the other side. So I just have Chanel Louis Vuitton boxes that I've kept, which looks like that. Holy moly, my hand is killing me, you guys. Um, so yeah, that was an in-depth closet tour. I don't think I've ever done one of these like since we've been in here. Um, I did a closet tour, but obviously I've gotten new things since then. Um, so that's why I wanted to share it. Also, I have these chandeliers in here, which my builder helped me pick out, which I think are just like the classic chandeliers. They look really pretty. Um, and yeah, that is everything. Again, pretty stuck on this side here. I don't like how it is right now. I just want to have something. If I had more shoes, I think I'd put shoes here, uh, but or handbags, but I don't know. It looks a little miscellaneous and strange right now to me. So if there's something you think I should put in there, Maybe decor, but like what decor? I don't know. And then over here, just the big island, obviously I love. And I'll show you guys from this side. So you can see I have my window out there too. It's really bright in here, um, especially like mid afternoon. It gets like super warm and I usually have to put the blinds down. Um, but I just wanted to give you like a full look at the closet so you guys can see what it looks like. I like to be as detailed as possible, um, but if you guys have any questions, then definitely let me know in the comments. Like if I missed something or didn't link something for you, then just let me know. Um, obviously I find so much inspiration and this is just an area that 
I feel like belongs to mama and it's just my area where I can film and enjoy things for myself and like recharge because I think that's really important to have like an area in your home that really inspires you. Um, Ryan would say his garage and I would say my closet. Uh, so, and I know a lot of you ladies at home love your closets too. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys are redecorating for springtime, but spring is definitely one of my favorite seasons and I just love the florals so much. I want to plan a photo shoot actually with the girls and um, do like a nice floral shoot because I just love the floral and the, the pinks and it's just such a pretty time. Okay, so that was my full spring closet, you guys. I'm actually getting ready right now doing a little bit of spring makeup. Um, I have to go to Safeway to go to Michael's and get eggs for the girls and fill their Easter baskets. Um, but I wanted to show you a few things that I've been using. And this was actually from the last haul I did. I just forgot to share it with you guys because the girls put everything everywhere. Um, but this is the Tom Ford uh, Energizing Mist. This is so hydrating and like refreshing and I love it. It's so beautiful. So I spray it before makeup and after makeup. Uh, the other thing I've fallen in love with again is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. I've been using it a lot and it's really nice and it's not messy like my Chanel powder. Um, the other thing too, uh, this new bronzer I got from Tom Ford is beautiful. Like I'm obsessed with this. It's just, oh my goodness. It gives your skin such a nice like just sun-kissed golden bronze and I love it and it's called the gold dust one love it anyways yeah so today um the girls are gonna play with their little baby friend Hugo and he's I think yeah one year older than the girls um but yeah anyways it's really beautiful today so we're gonna do like an outside day and the girls will go in their car they have like a little pink pink car and you guys have probably seen it from last summer. And yeah, so just not that much makeup, but just a nice little golden bronze. They also really have fallen in love with, I think I need to buy it full size because it's so pretty. Um, okay, well this one too, the Down Boy. Gone through a lot, I've had this for a long time, but it's a beautiful, beautiful blush. And then it's a little hard, oh, this one. Oh my goodness, this is such a pretty blush and it's called Baby Love by Too Faced. It's very natural. I love it though. I've just got concealer going on right now. Let me know though if you guys are getting anything from the Sephora v uh, VIB sale. So that's in April. And I'm a Rouge member, so I can shop a little bit earlier. But there's definitely some things that I'd like to pick up for spring and summer. Let me know too. I'm kind of <laughs> kind of nervous on using self-tanner in this house, to be honest, especially around the girls. Um, I find bruises all over my body and scratches and just, it just happens when you're a mom, that's just what happens. And Ryan has a ton of scars too, battle wounds. Um, but the girls love like rough hosing right now and like climbing us. So that's why they don't mean to, but it happens. Um, but I definitely think self tanner might be something that comes off throughout the day. Uh, but if there's like a really good one you like, like St. Tropez or like what other ones are there? Vita Liberata, that was one I used years ago. I don't even know if that brand's still around, but let me know what you guys like using. Um, all right, and yeah, I always seem to forget to do like an intro and outro because the day just gets ahead of me and I film the in-between parts and I'm like, yes, I've completed my mission today, but then I forget to do the intro and outro. So that's what I'm doing right now before I leave. And yeah, so it's just been a busy week and obviously I told you guys about my lack of sleep on Instagram and it just has been for real because Mia's last four nights in a row, Ryan and I have not slept since like three o'clock. Today a little bit because they, they slept through the night, which is good. But yeah, so it's been pretty exhausting, but we're in that phase right now. Um, just going to do my eyebrows and a little bit of bronzer and I think that's it. Super minimal today. I also love having baby wipes around because it's great for taking off makeup. They're all over our house. But yeah. Okay, so lipstick, mascara, and bronzer and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of this. And that's it. That's all I'm doing today. And I know, I don't know about you guys, but I still do put on makeup. I still put on lipstick uh, before putting on a mask. And I know my mask gets so dirty, but I have the disposable ones anyways. Um, but I still, I don't know, I still like 
looking put together when I go out and I just find myself because I'm in the house all day like I'm not wearing makeup and I think it's it, you feel a little bit better obviously when you put on a little bit of makeup so I went in with a little bit of highlighter too and I'm in my guest bedroom right now and I thought I would share with you guys the new bench that just came in which I love I think it's such a beautiful bench but I'm almost thinking it might look better somewhere else and I don't know there's just I think because it's throwing me off because the gray headboard is a different color and this is a different color gray but I feel like this would go in a lot of other places in our house we could even put this in either like the bonus room or we can also put it in our master even like for a little bit of contrast um, really gorgeous bench I'll link it down below and also it has acrylic legs which I really like but it just doesn't go obviously with the headboard which is like a really hard gray to find um, besides the set that it came with on another note though I love this chair this chair is so stunning and beautiful I almost wish it was in my like in my makeup vanity area in the master bathroom but I just think it looks really really nice in here and we still need to hang the mirror too <laughs> Anyways, the last thing I wanted to say before I go is that I'm planning on trying to get back the two videos a week like I used to do the Monday and Friday videos, um, but I'm thinking of having shorter vlogs. That's really the only way I can do it because my vlogs are 30 to 40 minutes and it's just like a mesh of the whole week. Uh, so I'm going to try my best to maybe shrink that in half and maybe have like 15 minute videos and have two videos a week uh, so let me know your thoughts on that I know some people like long vlogs but I just think this might be nice so I can see you guys throughout the week a little bit more frequently if you don't follow me on Instagram uh, so yeah let's hope I can do that uh, but yeah I'm running errands right now today's Sunday that I'm filming this the day before it's uploading and there's just I feel like Sunday is the day to relax but also get things done and clean the house so it'll be nice and the girls can go outside in their car today it's a beautiful day um, but yeah thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and seeing everything that I have in my closet and of course I've paid for everything myself nothing was given to me and I think um, I mean even when I used to watch YouTube videos on closet tours and stuff, it just inspired me to work hard. So, you know, once you work hard and um, you save money, you can be able to buy really beautiful things that you can appreciate in life. And I think that's really important. I think you can absolutely have nice things, but I think you really have to, it's a mindset of being able to know that you've worked hard for it and that you deserve it. So I think that's really important. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I really like this little makeup I've been doing. It's simple, but it's just a little to throw on throughout the day and it's not like a lot, but that mist I really do like for spring and summer. I think it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome week and I can't wait to see you guys on Friday.